Well, here we are at the cabin again, folks. Uh, just chilling out now. It's been a busy day. Frankie and I came in around noontime today, and I got busy with the Kubota right away. Digging out stumps and rocks out of the road, and hauling sand from the sandbank. Probably did about, oh, maybe 40 loads with the Kubota. Yeah. Thankful to have both the Kubota and that sandbag, I'll tell you that. It's uh, be nice to have some gravel, but I got sand, I'm gonna use that. I don't have to buy it. These are two rigs that I'm certainly not sorry I bought. I'll tell you what. I don't know what I'd do without them. I bought the tractor with the backhoe, the front end loader. A 74 inch tiller, a 7 foot York rake, brush hog, forks for the front of it, uh, post hold auger, oh, all kinds of stuff. And, uh, it's been a good rig, I tell you. I'm not sorry I bought that. Between these two things, I don't know what I'd do without them. Finally getting the Kubota back in here. Uh, going to pull some stumps and rocks and stuff out of the road. And then uh, there's a bunch of rocks back in the woods there that I'm going to uh, fill in that huge mud hole. Things are still a bit softer than I'd like, though. I like working in here but doing stuff by hand and all of that, but it's good to have the Kubota, too. Well, the Kubota made short work of the rock pile. I hauled out enough stone to fill in the worst of the mud holes and packed in a good base to be covered over with smaller stone later on. Sure, I call it work all right, but it's really more fun than anything. Then I went back to work on the sand bank and hauled out 40 or 50 loads. I got that spread over the corduroy sections and started pulling rocks and stumps that have been threatening my undercarriage. Now there's a nugget and a half right there. I got everything smoothed over and when I returned to the sandbank, Frankie got in on the dig and we had a bit of a contest going. Oh sure, he can move some sand all right, but he's no match for my Kubota. My pile's bigger than yours, buddy. Oh, I can't say he's really much help, but he sure does provide the entertainment. So all in all, it's been a good day. I'm pretty tuckered out. I'm just going to chill by the fire and uh, call it a night pretty soon. It was 50 degrees when I woke in my bunk this morning, so I ate my breakfast in the comfort of the morning sun. Frankie was deserving of a handout after all the sand that he moved. A good start to the day for both man and border collie. Over here in this area here, this was that really big mud hole that you've seen me drive through a number of times in the spring. And then I laid in all corduroy and I put sand over the top and it's held up really good. Now you see a lot of the sand has filtered down through the logs. That's just what I wanted. It's all filtered down through the logs now and it's time for the some more on top. Now over here, everybody kept commenting, oh, you ought to put a culvert in and stuff like that. Well, I intended to. I didn't have a culvert at the time, you know. I do things as I can do them. And this worked out really good for me because uh, this whole section is about 50 yards long, uh, maybe a little longer. And this is the only spot where it washed out right here. So this is telling me this is the spot to put the culvert. You see, I let Mother Nature tell me right where to put the culvert. So I'll pop these half a dozen logs out of here, dig down, put a culvert in. 
We'd be good to go. That's the only spot on this whole stretch that washed out. But you can see just the sand. I mean, the sand is real fine, so it washed away. But the logs never washed out. Those are locked right in. So I'm going to get this covered over, all except for that spot where the culvert's going to go. And when I come back, I'll bring a culvert and I'll pop that in and cover it over with sand. I'm having some fun today doing this stuff. Uh, high testosterone area today, man. I'm digging out some rocks, some stumps. Yep, having some fun. Well, I wish I had a much longer culvert than this, but I'm going to use what I have. I'm not going to go and spend the money on a culvert. Uh, I can get by with this, I guess. I just have to be pay attention when I'm driving over it. I'd certainly like to have it a couple feet longer at least. But to go out and buy a culvert for this one, I can get by with the piece I have. I'd rather put the money in some stone or something else. So I'm just going to have to pay attention when I'm driving over it, you know, so I don't drive off the edge. There's not a whole lot of room to spare there. But if I find it doesn't work out, I'll just pop it back out and replace it. It's not going to be that big of a deal. The show must go on, you know. <laughs> He's got to make a game out of everything. <laughs>